it's not a secret i'm sure you've heard this so many times one thing that separates so many successful traders from those who do not do too well in this industry is our ability to find trades and take advantage of opportunities when we find them hello there guys i'm coming for the max and welcome to my channel today today i'll be taking you through one of the simple basic trading strategies i use that makes me extremely successful as a trader i've said it in my videos so many times i trade what you see not what you feel it simply means i basically react to every opportunity i find on the market i just react to it if it touches any of my key levels if it respects any of the strategies or any of the trading techniques i use i simply take advantage of it and then milk as much as i can from this trading opportunity today's video actually takes us to a trade i took with my trading community so i actually took this trade yesterday afternoon and held it on to this morning and we are currently running over 70 pips in profit i shared it with the free community as you can see on your screens as well so i'll be taking you through the simple basic concepts i actually used to take this trade you'll be amazed how easy it was for me to find this particular opportunity i'll be teaching you how i simply took advantage of this opportunity along with my confirmation and then combine it with my strategy and then it made me how much it made me if you are here please make sure you subscribe to the channel also like this video share it to as many as possible leave a comment we'll be right back So it took me quite a while to become a very profitable trader. The moment I became profitable and the moment I understood what I needed to do to become a profitable trader, everything just kept moving forward from there. Once I understood that I needed to take advantage of the opportunities when they present themselves and then once I understood that I could trade different ways on any time frame I wanted. If you quite remember, I've done about two videos on break and then retest. I've taught you guys how to trade a breakout. I've also taught you guys how to trade reversals at the retest. So today I'll be teaching you how to trade the retest. It means how to trade after the market has already formed a new high or a new low after the breakout. Without wasting my time, let's jump right into it. So if you look at my screen, this is a trade I'm in in AUD USD. So we are currently running about seven tips profit on this simple trading setup. At this point, I'm running a risk free trade, so my stop loss is right at my entry. So a risk free trade simply means that if the market reverses at any point, since I've already taken some partials, if the market reverses at any point, I will simply be taken out at my entry price. I will not lose any money on this trade. The strategy I actually used to take this trade was mine break and then retest. So let me explain. What i simply mean by that so let's say the market gives me a high here drops comes back to respect that high giving me a resistance it means that now this whole zone can now be called a resistance it means that i simply expect the market to respect this region again if it gets here it means i want to be able to catch another cell in this zone here but there are so many instances where the market fails to respect it giving you what we call a breakout it means we can easily have something like this happen on the market where the market actually runs through your resistance this way so once i have my breakout what happens next is i either expect a breakout to keep going or the market to actually come back and i respect it the market coming back to respect the previous high is what we term as a retest so a lot of traders are mostly actually looking for another reversal at a retest or another breakout here one thing a lot of traders don't know is you can actually catch another trade from the new high which is formed which is the new high which is formed here back to retest so that's what we call trading to the retest now i can simply just take a trade here back to the retest because i'm expecting the market to come back to where it broke out from so if you look here you can actually find a trade here and then trade it back to the retest you have here one mistake so many traders make is they simply just guess that the market is going to come back without any stick without any form of criteria or the amount of criteria i want to see to be able to trade my retest from this zone here is what we call the market respecting a key level of mine it's very important the market respects a key level so if the market respects a key level what do i simply mean by a key level it means that if the turning point or the high i have here respects another high if the market meets another form of resistance here it means i can simply now what trade from here because now i'm considering this as a new resistance that's what makes me able to trade the retest from this point to the downside so it's simply like the market breaking your resistance and then you adjusting it to find another resistance where you'll be able to get your confirmation from if i simply just zoom out and i realize that the turning point the new turning point i have from this particular breakout respects a previous turning point which is what a resistance it means that now i can take advantage of this take my trade they have my stocks on the range and then where is my take profit where do i expect the market to get to i expect the market to get to where it broke out from which is what we call a retest so this is what we simply mean by trading the retest so we've done two scenarios already the first one is trading the breakouts the second one is trading a reversal at a retest i've already made videos on both scenarios so the third one is today 
trading from the new high which is formed from the breakout. The high is simply a turning point at the top of a range. So once I'm able to catch this trade at the new high, my stop loss is on top of the range, then I trade it back to the regions because that's where most likely I'm expecting the market to get to. Let's come back to the charts. Let me simply show you where the breakouts happened from and then how I was able to take advantage of it to trade back to the retest. So as you can see clearly on my screens, I had a previous resistance here. If I have a resistance, what does it mean? It means I expect the market to actually reverse when it gets to that particular turning point. So if you look at this AUD US, did the market go to my turning point here? Then what happened next after that turning point? There was simply a strong breakout. Once there's a strong breakout from there, what do I simply do? I simply just adjust it to the next resistance, which is the next turning point. Once I have my key levels, all I do next is to just wait for the market to give me an opportunity. So now the market actually gave me some form of confirmation here. I tried to take this trade last week, but it took me out by what forming another breakout here again. So once I had that other breakout, what did I have to do next? I simply had to what, adjust it. So we realize that now it gets to this particular resistance. So once it gets to this particular resistance, we start applying our same principles again. We want to have a confirmation before we take our trades here. The next candle comes, then we finally get our confirmation. But we still want to see if it respected this resistance or we move to the next one. So if we place our mouse here, you realize that it touched the tip of this candle. So now it means that the market respected this resistance. At the same time, we got our confirmation right here. So this was the exact price I actually sent the trade to. So I actually sent a trade to my free community and everybody's eating from this particular trading position, almost 80 pips already. So if you are here, you're looking for consistent trading signals, trading insights, make sure you join my telegram community by clicking in the link in my description. We have over 12,000 active traders in that particular community. So now we get our confirmation here. What does it mean? It means that I'm taking my trade here with my risk to reward, my stop loss right on top of it. So I risk about just 20 pips on this particular trading setup. So my stop loss was just 20 pips and then at least I was expecting it to get to this resistance. So this is what we mean by the retest. We have our breakout here. And then we are expecting to get a retest back to this zone. So well, this was my second TP. Long term, I want to see the market get all the way down here. But like I said, if I'm trying to hold my trade all the way down here, you know what I've always said about my swing positions. It's just about 5% to 10% I'll hold all the way down here. And I'll keep adjusting my stop loss as the market keeps going. Let's see if the market actually hits a retest zone. Our initial drop, get a few pips, then right somewhere in the evening. The market actually finally smashed our retest. So you can see we finally made our profit to the retest, but because of how strong the candles are, I'm actually expecting a further drop in this particular region. I'm expecting a further drop in this particular zone. So now this is where we are. This is the current scenario in the market on this AUD USD setup. I actually took another trade with Euro USD as well, which is running well over 150 pips in profits. I'll also make a video on that as well. So as I always say, trade what you see, not what you feel. It should always be what you see. Always react to the opportunities that the market brings you. So you realize that after you, how many strategies have you learned here? If you stick to this channel, your trading skill level should actually erupt to the highest level. So you realize that my trading technique actually allows me to find trades in any market scenario. This is one of those scenarios. Breakout, you can easily also trade it back to the retest, but always make sure the market simply respects a key level. Once it does that, all you need next is for your confirmation, your consolidation, then you just take your trade, make some profits for yourself, then you are simply done for the day. If you like what you just watched and you want to shoot more videos like this, more educational content like this, make sure you like this video and share it to as many traders as possible. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Keep up with me on my socials, Common Forex on Instagram, Common Forex on Twitter, Common Forex on Telegram, Common Forex on TikTok. And then like I said from the beginning, click on the link in my description to join my trading community with over 12,000 active traders where we share trading signals on a daily basis. I also have an upcoming Zoom webinar. I have my November session coming in the last week of this month. So the training is actually going to take two weekends. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll be having about five sessions in total. And this session only costs $120. $120 to learn every single technique I use, every single strategy I use to trade. To sign up for this webinar, also just click on the link in my description to join my trading community. And you'll be able to locate my Telegram handle from my trading community. So every single thing you are learning in my videos on YouTube has actually been put together nicely for you in just five sessions. Thank you very much for joining me in this session. See you in the next one.